Hey, good afternoon. This is Steve, KI5JUF, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Today we're going to uh, program a radio, or we're going to program a simplex channel. We're also going to program a repeater. So what we'll do is I'll get the radio uh, ready here. I'm going to erase this last channel that we programmed. And uh, what we'll do first is we're going to program a simplex channel. So to program the radio on the FT991A, you want to make sure you're in VFO, VFO mode. Right now I'm in memory mode. So to go to VFO mode, I just press the VM button once. And here we're going to go ahead and go to band, or excuse me, mode. We're going to be FM. Band, we're going to enter 146 dot five two zero 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 press enter now what we have to do is we have to make sure uh, we need to turn off the uh, these particular settings here so the first thing we'll do is since uh, this is VFO mode it remembers the last settings that you had for the last programmed VFO channel so what we'll do first is we have to turn off three things we have to make sure that number one this since this is simplex we do not want the repeater on so the first thing we'll do is we'll press the FM list and right now you see where it says RPT that's repeater so I'm going to press that again to make that simplex so if I toggle through there's simplex a repeater with a positive shift a repeater with a negative shift and simplex and simplex is what we want because we're just programming a straight channel with no repeater action the next thing we have to do is we have to make sure that the encoded tone is turned off. So we go here to tone.dcs and we tap, we go through this. There's the CTCSS, there's the digital encoder, there's the DCS, and there's off. And that's what we want. And notice when we go to off, this all this cleared out up here. So now we have everything like we need it. We'll clear that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to press and hold the AM button and when we do this it's going to oh, before we do that we have to press MCH make sure we're in memory channel mode press the AM button once this is going to bring up a list of my pre-programmed channels so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to the next open channel which is number 14 and I'm going to press and hold the AM button and when I do that the radio is going to beat two times and the screen will disappear now the radio has just written that particular frequency into memory location number 14 so let me demonstrate we're going to go back to memory mode and there it is right there 146.520 now we're going to put a tag on it and tag is the little name that you see for example this one here has a N5 TEQ Albany so to put a tag on that particular one what we do is we press and hold the FM list and then we make sure we select it there's tag and we're just going to put uh, two meter simplex and we're good to go now now when we go back it'll when we go back to 14 it'll show two meter simplex so that's how you program a simplex channel into the FT 991A the next thing we're going to do is we're going to program a repeater the repeater we're going to program is also two meter it has a negative shift. It has a PL code of 88.5. Now, on the PL, PL code, you have uh, the, the two types of codes that I see a lot are what they call uplink tone and downlink tone. Uh, this particular repeater only has an uplink tone. It does not have a downlink tone. So, uh, if you use a source like repeaterbook.com, uh, when they say uplink tone, uh, on this particular radio, it uses the abbreviation ENC, which is an encoded tone only. But if you have a uplink and a downlink tone from the repeater on this FT991A, it uses the, the uh, CTCSS, which is the tone coded squelch, carrier tone coded squelch. So now what we'll do is uh, we'll go to VFO mode. So I press the VM button. Now the frequency of the repeater is uh, let's make sure we're in the correct mode we're in FM the band is the repeater is 145.4900 and then press enter now what we have to do 
is we have to set up the, the configuration to access the repeater. So to do that, the first thing we got to check is we got to make sure it's a negative off shift. We have the PL, we have the correct encoded tone only since it's an uplink only. And then we've got to make sure we have the proper encoded tone. So we press and hold, we press the FM list button. And on the repeater, this is the button that we want to look at here. So we want to select that's positive shift, that's not what we want. We want to go to negative shift. The next button that we want to push is tone. So to press the tone, you press you cycle through. Right now the tone is off. Pressing it once gives us encoded tone, which is what we are going to use on this particular repeater because we're only using the tone that goes from the radio up to the repeater. We do not require a tone in the radio to receive back from the repeater. So there's CTCSS, which means an uplink and a downlink tone, and then there's your digital encoded tone and your DCS tones. So for this repeater, we're going to use an encoded tone only, which means it's an uplink tone only. Then the next thing we have to do is we have to set the tone. So here we click on the button tone right here, and we will dial in 88.5. Okay. And we are good, so let's go back and check our settings. Our repeater is a negative off shift. Our tone is encoded only and our code is 88.5 and lastly our frequency is 145.490 so everything is correct now we press the FM list button now what we do is to store this into memory what we will do next is we will uh, press the MCH button then we're going to press the AM button quickly this will list all the uh, oh, let's see here Let's go back to VFO. Press the wrong button. I do this all the time. I accidentally, when I'm going for AM, I hit VM. So press AM once, and this will give us a list of all of our available channels. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick this one in position number 15, because there's 14. That's the one we just programmed earlier. We're going to stick it in position number 15. So we're going to press and hold this, and when the radio beeps two times and the display goes away, that means it's written. Okay, just wrote it. Now we go back and we press, now to put a tag on it, we press and hold the uh, FM list button and we make sure we pick 15. And we're going to put this gentleman's call sign KI5ZS. We'll just call it 2 meter repeater. And press enter. Now it also populated there, back. Now when we go to memory or memory mode, there it is. There's our simplex channel that we programmed, and there's our repeater channel. So let's make a call real quick and see. Um, KI5JUF testing. The time is 2.58 p.m. and okay. this is KI5ZS repeater. Okay. We are we are successful. K I five Z S. Welcome you to this repeater. That's a loud. That's a, that's a strong repeater. So now what I'll do is I'll show you one last thing. Say for example, we're just going to erase the two channels that we put in. So we press and hold this button, and when you do that, you just select the channel, and uh, we're going to select channel 15, which is in blue. Uh, we've got to keep going the wrong way. See it's in blue, so I'm going to press erase. You just erased it. Erased it. And we're done. So now when we go to channels 13. Over and right there. Yeah, there are those two are gone. So that's how you that's how you go through and set up. Uh, one of the things too I'll show you is um, there's some settings on your radio that you can do. I've got a few more minutes here. If you want to press and hold the menu dash setup, you can enter your call sign. And this is my dad's call sign here. Uh, you can also enter your longitude and latitude, which is what we have in this radio. Uh, let's see here. Date and time. I have mine set to Zulu time, which is... Um, that's the UTC time, so whenever you do HF, you always want to use UTC. 
and uh, I'm not sure what CW Tex is, but anyway, that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, there's also some software that you can purchase from RT Systems, which I can do another video on to show you how to actually do the same thing, except we'll do it with uh, the software package. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, 73G, and have a good afternoon, and keep enjoying the hobby. This is KI5JUF. We're signing off.